is joining us this morning here on Proactive London from Emerson because plenty to discover. You've called it a major milestone after receiving the mining license for the Chemiset Potash project there in Morocco, where we've been following your story for a number of months. And this is to proceed with your development of the project. You've managed to do it four months early. Graham, you must be thrilled. Yes, hi Katie. Yes, we're, we're obviously delighted with this. It's really a, a significant milestone uh, for the project. This now gives us the right to, to go forwards and, and mine um, all of the, well, the initial 19-year mine life that we've identified, but also as we expand that, this license will cover uh, the areas that we expand and, and you know, extend the life of the project even further. So it really is, it's a, a massive step forward. Talk us through the next steps, Graham. What happens now? Well, the, the key, key part of the permitting of the mining license and also the, the environmental um, license, that's now with, that's with the authorities. We submitted all of the documentation uh, before the end of last year, uh, and that process is going very well. So we're, we're very positive about that. You know, we said we'd get the two, these two permits in the first half of this year. We brought in the mining license early, as you say, uh, and we're very confident that we'll, we'll, you know, the environmental uh, permit will follow. So get those two in place. We're currently engaged with um, several potential strategic investors or partners in the project um, from an equity perspective. And we're also working on the debt funding. And the, the aim is that we have both the equity and the debt all lined up in place for the beginning of, of the third quarter of this year. Um, and then alongside that, we've got some site investigation work to do, some detailed engineering. And, and the intention is still that we start early construction works before the end of this year. But getting this permit has really, you know, set us on our way in, in 2021 in a very positive manner. Mm -hmm. And when do you say set yourself on the way? So the grand plan here is to become the first large scale potash mine in Africa, right? Yeah, so currently there's no potash production in Africa. And, and you know, our target is, is to get, uh, get established and, and be the first. And, and then we've, we've got access to what will be what is a huge market uh, for our product just in Africa without it going any further afield than that. Mm -hmm. And I know what's crucial to what you're doing and the success very much relies upon you being entrenched within the community there, doesn't it? Yeah. So uh, you know, we, we have to say the, the authorities have worked with us on, on getting this, this permit through. Um, you know, they recognise the benefits of the project and we have always made really you know, great effort to work with them and, and be part of the community. That's really important to us. We've got to do this in the right way. And we've got to deliver value not just to our shareholders, but to the to the local community and all of the stakeholders in country. That is that is really important to us. Um, so the significant economic benefits, um, both to the country and and you know substantial local benefits in terms of increases in the GDP, you know the opportunity for employment that wouldn't be there otherwise. So you know that is recognised um, in Chemiset in, in the region and in the country. You know and we'll continue to work very closely both on a local, regional and national level with, with all of the, the, the Moroccan stakeholders. Mm -hmm. And I think in past conversations that we've had before, you've mentioned a GDP rise of about 40% potentially for yeah. the local area. Local area, that's right, yes. And mm -hmm. um, when you said you're having conversations with investors and there's lots maybe going on behind the scenes, can you give us a little bit more colour? Uh, well, we've, 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 we've been engaged with um, two or three potential strategic um, partners slash equity investors uh, for a period now and the due diligence, um, you know, we're well through due diligence with a couple of those. Um, and those, we continue to have very positive conversations and, you know, our target is to, is to bring in a, in a partner who can put in substantial amounts of the equity we, we require. Um, and, you know, we'll continue to work on that. The, these sorts of things, you can never put a timeline on exactly when, when you, they come to fruition, but we are very positive. And I think that's, you know, that's testament to the quality of the project, both in terms of its, you know, the capex and, and the low operating cost, but also its location. You know, and Morocco is seen as a really good place for, for investment. It's encouraged by the Moroccan authorities, uh, but investors see it as a very stable, you know, a, a great place to invest and, and, and projects, invest in projects there. So, you know, a lot of encouraging signs there, and hopefully we'll be able to update on that in the not too distant future. Absolutely, and we'll be watching the project as it develops. Thank you very much indeed. Graham Clark from Emerson. Thank you, Katie. Bye.